Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hi, 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 my friends. How are you today? We're going to read a big book. I hope you'd like to stay. What, what, what do you think? What do you think of that? I'm very pleased to see you. Have a great day. Okay, my friends, I have a nice book for older children today. A little bit older children. This is called Mickey at the Magic House, and it's by Liv Batten. Mickey at the Magic House. It's kind of a special book. And it's still because we're celebrating a little bit Halloween still. It was deep in the dark of the night when only the moon and the stars were awake. The land lay quietly in darkness like a large sleeping animal. Way up high by the light of the moon, you could see two small figures on a broomstick. Ooh, can you see two small figures on a broomstick? What do you see? The moon. Mm. Let's go. See? Oh, look. Nikki and her cat, Theodore, swerved in and out of crackling stars, turning corners so fast they could feel the cold night air pinching their cheeks. So cold. Nikki was teaching herself to fly figure eights when she noticed that a house on top of the hill still had its lights on. Nikki aimed her broomstick and raced toward it. What is Nikki? Nikki is a little witch. Great. Halloween is over now, but still the witches are flying, maybe, or training on the broomsticks. At first, it was hard to see, but Theodore, whose ears had pricked up when he heard a pleasing sound, was walking carefully and slowly to the end of his broomstick. Do you see what the cat saw? What do you see? What did the cat see? <gasps> Mice. Oh, look. Ooh, what are they? Theodore leapt and Nikki lost her balance and tumbled into the room. Bang! Crash! Nikki sat up and looked at the two ends of her broomstick, one in each hand. Oh no, how was she ever going to fly again? Just then she heard a low, deep sound. <coughs> Who could be playing music around here? Nikki picked up the ends of her broomstick and climbed down the ladder into the next room. She frightened the birds, too. I wonder who's playing that music. Good evening, Nikki said. What lovely music. Do you like it? A witch said, smiling happily. I'm so glad. But you know, I'm supposed to make lovely music because I'm a musical witch. Now, who are you? Oh, she's a musical witch. I'm Nikki, and my broomstick is broken. Can you fix it? Fix your broomstick? Of course not. I can only play music, magical music. Listen. Oh, she's only going to play magical music. Oh, what is happening? Oh, let's see. As soon as the witch picked up her wand, all the instruments sprang into the air and raced around the room, jostling each other as they eagerly moved into position. Sparkling sounds filled the room. Nikki kept time on a tambourine as the cats howled and the crows cackled until... Sniff, sniff. What was that delicious smell coming up from below? That's a musical witch playing magical musical 
What's the smell from below? Good evening, Dickie said. It smells wonderful in here. Oh, of course it smells wonderful in here. I'm the cooking witch. But who are you? Oh, I'm Nicky and my broomstick is broken. Can you fix it? Broomstick? Fix it? Of course not. I cook wonderful scrumptious dishes that fill your tummy forever. With tastes that come out of your dreams. Are you hungry? Oh, yes. Open the page. Ooh, yummy. Nikki licked her fingers and sighed. Now, let me cook you some magic. She picked up the book of cooking spells and started to read the rest of the magic recipes out loud. Just as she'd seen the witch do. But something went terribly wrong. Oh, Nikki tried to cook. Uh-oh. What have you done? The cooking witch shouted. Spinach with grasshoppers? Oh, how horrible. Get out of here. Nikki didn't wait to read another word. She dropped the book and rushed downstairs. Oh, Nikki. You're not a magical cooking witch. Good night and sleep well, Nikki said. I see you're going to bed. Good night to you too. Of course I'm going to bed. I'm the sleeping witch. But who are you? I'm Nikki and my broomstick is broken. Can you fix it? The witch pulled the bed covers over her head and the lights went out. I can't fix your broomstick. I can only put it to sleep. How about you? Maybe a nice, restful hundred year sleep. Now, wouldn't you like that? Mm -hmm. Sleep for a hundred years? I don't want to sleep for a hundred at all. What, when you are asleep, you can't see, hear, or feel anything. But the sleeping witch had already yawned twice. And all the animals stopped what they were doing, curled up, and went to sleep. Nikki's eyelids were very heavy. <sighs> Slowly and quietly, she tiptoed down the next set of stairs. Oh. Nikki saw a young witch with wild yellow hair, concentrating furiously on a book of spells, a screwdriver and a wrench and some nuts and bolts hummed in midair, ready for action. Ah. Hi, my name's Nikki and my broom is broken. You surely can fix my broomstick. Fix your broomstick? Oh, of course I can. I am the fixing witch. Ah, the fixing witch. She finally found a witch who can help. The fixing witch lifted up her shirt sleeves a little bit more. Then, right in front of Nikki, there was a big explosion and a super winged broomstick rocket appeared. Wow, this is real magic, Nikki screamed. The witch pulled out a blue polka dot handkerchief and wiped her brow. You like it? Nikki gave her a huge kiss on the cheek, which tasted a little like rocket fuel. Look at her magic broom now. Ooh-wee! She fixed it all right. In a flash, Nikki and Theodore were out the basement window and flying so fast that Nikki had to hold on to her hat. The two friends floated quietly high up near the moon. It was still deep in the dark of the night. But when Nikki looked down at the earth, she saw a light still shining in a house. Now who in the world would be awake at this time? Who do you think is still awake at this time? Look at her magic broom. Wow. That surely is a magic broom now. 
Oh, look at the house. Wow, that's a big house. And there's all the witches, the fixing witch, the sleeping witch, the cooking witch, the magical musical witch, and the attic where she flew into. Big house with the lights. Mickey at the magic house. That was a nice story, my friends. And Nikki was a nice little witch. And all the witches in the house were nice, too. They all had a job to do. There was a cooking witch and a sleeping witch and a magical music witch. That's great. I like that story a lot. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you again soon. So long, it's been good to see you. So long, it's been good to see you. So long, it's been good to see you. I hope you come back very soon.